Remote ID is here. Drone operators are expected to comply with the compliance date for Remote ID, which went into effect on September 16, 2023. However, the FAA will consider all factors in determining whether to take enforcement action through March 16, 2024. Remote ID is more than just a technical requirement. It's a cornerstone of safety and security in the burgeoning era of drones. By broadcasting a drone's details, Remote ID allows authorized individuals and public safety organizations to monitor these unmanned aircraft, ensuring they operate safely and within designated areas. Whether you are flying recreationally or commercially, this rule applies to you. So what does this mean for Kespri operators? If you are operating a Mavic 3 Enterprise, you are already in compliance and no action is required. This drone is remote ID compliant out of the box. If you are operating with either the Phantom 4 RTK or Mavic 2 Pro, you will need to get your drone in compliance. The good news is that both of these drones can be made compliant by applying firmware updates instead of having to obtain a remote ID module that would need to be attached to the drone. These modules are expensive and also difficult to obtain. Now, let's take a look at how each system can be made compliant. We'll first take a look at the Mavic 2 Pro. If this does not apply to you, feel free to jump ahead to the Phantom 4 RTK section. First, the firmware update will need to be applied using the DJI Assistant 2 app on your computer. If you do not already have this application installed, you can do a quick Google search for DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic, and it should get you to where you need to go. For convenience, the URL is also displayed on the screen. Feel free to pause the video if need be. Download the install package for either Mac or PC, depending on what you are using. Once it has been downloaded, kick off the installation and launch the app once it has completed. Agree to the terms of use. Review the data authorization prompts along with the product improvement program. Next, tether the Mavic to your computer using a micro SD cable. The connection should be located under a rubber flap on the forward right side of the drone. Once the connection has been made, power on the drone and it should appear within the Assistant 2 app. Once the Mavic is recognized, double click the icon. It's possible you may be prompted to apply an update to the Assistant 2 app, or possibly the FlySafe database. It is recommended to apply all recommended updates if prompted. Once the firmware list populates, you'll notice a couple of things. You will notice the current firmware version installed on the drone, along with what the current or most recent version is. Release notes are also available if you would like to review. When you're ready, Click the Upgrade button next to the firmware release you are installing. For Remote ID, choose the version ending in 0797. At the time of this recording, this is the release that enables Remote ID for the Mavic 2 Pro and it happens to be the most recent version. Click Start Update. The update will first be downloaded from DJI to your computer. Next, it will be transmitted to the Mavic. And last, the update will be installed. This entire process will take several minutes, so please be patient. Feel free to pause the video if you are following along and performing the update. When complete, the firmware list will refresh. Please verify the current version has changed to the version you have just applied. In addition to the drone, the remote controller requires a firmware update as well. Follow the same steps, starting with connecting the controller to your computer with a micro USB cable. Turn on the remote and double-click the remote control icon that appears within the Assistant 2 app. Locate the most current release and click Upgrade and then Start Update. Like the update to the drone, it will go through three steps, but the controller will go much quicker than the drone. Now that the hardware firmware has been updated, we need to make sure the latest versions of both the DJI Go 4 app and also the Kespri app are applied. Let's update the DJI Go 4 app first. Grab your iPad and launch the App Store. 
Please make sure you are logged in using your own Apple account. If you do not have an account, please create one. Enter DJI GO 4 in the search field. When located, click Update next to the app. The last thing we need to do is update the Kespri Flight app. From the App Store, search for Kespri Flight and download the update. So how can you determine if remote ID is functioning? Well, it's pretty simple. The next time you fly a mission, the pre-flight checklist now contains a step to test remote ID. If you see a step in yellow labeled remote ID initializing and it does not disappear after a few seconds, try restarting your drone and access the checklist again. If that step remains, it means remote ID is not functioning. At the time of this recording, Flight will not be prevented if remote ID is not fully enabled. However, this is subject to change should DJI, who is the manufacturer of the drone, prevent takeoff within their software. Retrace your steps and make sure you have updated the firmware on the drone and controller and also have updated the Kespri application on the iPad. If all else fails, please reach out to our support team for assistance. If this particular step is either not visible or it is initially visible and then disappears, this confirms remote ID is functioning normally and you are good to go. First, the firmware update will need to be applied using the DJI Assistant 2 app on your computer. If you do not already have this application installed, you can do a quick Google search for DJI Assistant 2 for Phantom, and it should get you to where you need to go. For convenience, the URL is also displayed on the screen. Feel free to pause the video if need be. Download the install package for either Mac or PC, depending on what you are using. Once it has been downloaded, kick off the installation and launch the app once it has completed. Agree to the terms of use. Review the data authorization prompts along with the product improvement program. Next, power on the drone and tether the Phantom to your computer using a micro USB cable. The connection should be located on the left side of the drone. Once the connection has been made, it should appear within the Assistant 2 app. Once the drone is recognized, double-click the icon. It's possible you may be prompted to apply an update to the Assistant 2 app or possibly the FlySafe database. It is recommended to apply all recommended updates if prompted. Once the firmware list populates, you'll notice a couple of things. You will notice the current firmware version installed on the drone along with what the current or most recent version is. Release notes are also available if you would like to review. When you're ready, click the upgrade button next to the firmware release you are installing. For remote ID, choose the version ending in 0616. At the time of this recording, this is the release that enables remote ID for the Phantom 4 RTK and it happens to be the most recent version. Click Start Update. The update will first be downloaded from DJI to your computer. Next, it will be transmitted to the Phantom. And last, the update will be installed. This entire process will take several minutes, so please be patient. Feel free to pause the video if you are following along and performing the update. When complete, the firmware list will refresh. Please verify the current version has changed to the version you have just applied. In addition to the drone, the remote controller requires a firmware update as well. Follow the same steps starting with connecting the controller to your computer with a micro USB cable. Turn on the remote and double click the remote control icon that appears within the Assistant 2 app. Locate the most current release and click upgrade and then start update. Like the update to the drone, it will go through three steps, but the controller will go much quicker than the drone. The last thing we need to do is update the Kespri Flight app. 
From the App Store, search for Kespri Flight and download the update. So how can you determine if remote ID is functioning? Well, it's pretty simple. The next time you fly a mission, the pre-flight checklist now contains a step to test remote ID. If you see a step in yellow labeled remote ID initializing and it does not disappear after a few seconds, try restarting your drone and access the checklist again. If that step remains, it means remote ID is not functioning. At the time of this recording, Flight will not be prevented if Remote ID is not fully enabled. However, this is subject to change should DJI, who is the manufacturer of the drone, prevent takeoff within their software. Retrace your steps and make sure you have updated the firmware on the drone and controller and also have updated the Kespri application on the iPad. If all else fails, please reach out to our support team for assistance. If this particular step is either not visible or it is initially visible and then disappears. This confirms remote ID is functioning normally and you are good to go. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about remote ID or if you run into any issues during the update process, please do not hesitate to reach out to our support team by sending an email to support at firmatech.com or by calling 210-651-4990 and choose the option for drone support.